Tunisia and Australia. The IBF Junior Welterweight title. Unbeaten knockout artist Juan Urango faces slick veteran Nofel Ben Rabah. Juan Urango is a power punching southpaw who's dedicated to his religion and his profession. He's clean living out of the ring and risk taken in it. The results have been impressive. In his last fight, he took on the capable Brooklyn-based veteran, Andre Eason. Juan's offensive assault took over as he scored knockdowns in the third and fourth rounds. Then in the seventh, he finished him off. No other fighter has knocked out Eason, not Panchito Bajada, nor Demetrius Hopkins. Tonight, the target will be the elusive Nofel Ben Rabah. He has patiently waited as the number one contender, but American fans have seen very little of him. The former Olympian is an unconventional, awkward boxer who has used his athletic gifts to build up a solid record in Australia with wins like this over Pong Petch Mongserin. That was one of five straight KOs he had before coming to the U.S. to win a title eliminator. Now he's supremely confident, explaining just why he will defeat Urango. I'm smarter than him. I'm clever. I have speed. I have good reflex. And if you have uh, all of this stuff, I don't think it's easy to get beat. He can, he can say anything he wants with his mouth. We'll see in the ring what kind of person he is, what kind of fighter he is. Um, I, I'm the type of fighter that pressures and, uh, it, you know, we'll see uh, what kind of style he brings once the fight starts. So which way will the world title go? To the smart and skilled Ben Rabah or to the big hitter Urango? It is time to find out. Moments ago, Ben Rabah getting some love and support from Bernard Hopkins. D-Hop here tonight. He's got a promotional piece of no fell Ben Rabah. Ben Rabah, 28 years old. He came in two pounds under the limit at 138. Went to the Sydney Summer Games from his native Tunisia. Liked it so much.